Hi, this is Miss D at D Special Thanks. All right, you guys, this board. <laughs> this board has one, two pieces, and then it has two other components here. The blade, this alignment tool, and this little sidebar. If you lose this, I discovered something. They have lines on the point on the marks. On the side tab, tab there's a line. And on the corner rounder, there's a line. If you line your project up with those, you'll still be able to use this machine if you, you, if you lose this little sidebar. Then they have this piece right here that is actually a blade. And the round piece is a guide. And you place the round piece on the blade and it runs it through. I'm sorry, the other way. You, you place the round piece on this alignment tray and it runs it across that line right there but that's also perfect for scoring okay all right so that's the pieces of this machine you know what you guys this machine is awesome i found a few other things that you can actually do now we know it's for making tabs so what i did was i made bunches of little tab things. Isn't that great? Now how great is that? I made tabs using what? I'll show you here in a minute because this is awesomeness and you could use those in your journals, uh, books, your junk journals, your yeah anything that you want. Look at those tabs. I use these and I'm sure a bunch of you have them. I know originally I got these from Target. And then these came from Tuesday morning. But these right here, look at them. Make your own tabs using your Project Life cards and your little memory system journaling cards. Look at this. You can do so much with these things. And not to mention... You can make your own pages in your book. These right here are the journaling cards that go inside of the We Are Memory Keepers um, system. But you can actually make your own books. Just make tabs. There you are. Just make tabs on each other books and however you, whatever binding system you use to put these together. There you go. Cute, easy, simple. Easy, simple as that. I even used the 4 by 6 ones. Journaling cards. These are the Project Life journaling cards. Okay. And then I used, I love this thing. I used my note cards. And I made tabs. And guess what? They're pockets. Yeah, so you have pockets. You have tabs. I know, right? Oh man, this is awesomeness. Um, and you could just take your little doodads and stick them in here, which would be a great way, this right here, to send someone these little doodads. Yeah, you can make your own little pockets. All right, I'm going to show you how to make each of these items, but here was my really exciting make envelopes look at there I couldn't figure it out I had to think about it once I sat down I, I wasted a few pieces of paper but I actually came up with the little teeny envelopes that you can actually put a little card in stick it in your project life stuff I mean that project life your your uh, flip books, your uh, envelope stuffers. Now, how cute is that? So, I'm going to show you first of all, and guess what I made them using? I'm going to show you how I made a little note, a, a little note tab pocket. Yeah, with the cards. I used the back of it. If you don't want to use the card, if you don't want the back of it to show, you can either, either cover it up before you glue it down or you can cut the back off 
scored the back off when you're making the card and you just have a pocket with a tab on it. Aren't these great because now you can actually put on your tab what you have in there. Okay, so to make the little note cards, I'm going to show you how I did each of these. Okay, first I'm going to show you how I made, took the pages. And I just went through this book and I just found some cute, it happened when. Yeah, something cute that I wanted to use. Um, and that you can actually journal on. Let's do a bucket list, okay? Alright, so I don't want to cut this part off here. Uh, so, but I want this to end up in the book the right way. And I think, let's see, if I cut it off, it goes far enough into the hill. It'll tell me I tried. I guess you'll have to write whether or not you failed or not. Um, you'll have to check it yourself but this right here you just take it because these are six by six cards and you take your little machine and because it's six you use it has numbers on there from four to twelve okay and this is six so I want the tab to be large okay and I'm using this side right here so I'm going to line it up at six large and punch it and then I'm going to flip it over and put it at large okay <clears throat> there's my tab then I'm going to bring it over here turning the machine around I'm going to put it further this way so that I can make sure I actually cut off this little round piece right here fits in that alignment guide. You just score it across. I'm going to pull it further down here and put the round piece in the, in the what you call them, part and score it apart. Let's see, I didn't quite put it at the edge. Put it there and score it. And there you are. There's your little score thing. And then I'm going to come back. And I'm going to take this little, if you don't want to use this, I'm, I'm trying to get into the habit of not using it. I'm just going to line it up with corner rounder and I'm going to punch. There you are. I'm going to line this up with corner rounder. And I'm going to punch. There you are. So that's your tab. You could take it, put it in your book. Isn't it great figuring stuff like this out? I love this. I love this machine. And that's just using those uh, cards, your journaling cards. Okay, now to make this tab here, I had to measure the note card that I used. Let me get another note card. Okay. Let me get another note card. And I'm going to put this in the middle okay so to put this in the middle I'm just taking the note card and I am going to align this where I want it to cut with the sidebars so I don't want it right on the edge like I did this one I want it in the middle so I'm gonna punch there hmm and then I'm going to turn it over. And because I punched it where I did, I'm going to punch it on this side and make it a smaller punch. Okay. Then I'm going to take this. I'm going to put it in the machine this way. And I'm going to cut off the excess. I'm going to take this, slide it in there. And then... I'm gonna now it's up to you whether you want the back side of this on there or not okay so what I'm going to do so that the back side isn't on there I'm gonna put it in there and I'm gonna cut the back side off at the same time too all right you guys because we just want the tab there so there you have your note your note card with the tab or your pocket that's what it is and you take and put tape around the, the side and the bottom and you have 
this. You have a pocket. Easy peasy, huh? I love this thing. I really love this thing. Okay, so now I want to make envelopes. This took a little more time, okay? So, and I used the, I used the card two different ways, okay? So I'm going to take the card and I want something that just have designs on it because then I don't have to watch the orientation of this. Okay, so I'm going to use one of these cards. Matter of fact, I'm going to use both of them. Okay, I know this is the 4 by 6 card. Okay, so I'm going to take this 4 by 6 card and I'm going to put it at 6 and we're going to do a large tab here, okay? I'm going to put it at 6. If you look at these numbers down here and I'm going to line it up with large. I'm going to punch it. Then I'm going to take it over here, line it up with large, punch it again. Then I'm going to turn it around and do the same thing. Line it up at large and punch it. Then I'm going to take it and flip it over, line it up with the, with the sidebar there with the margin and punch it. Okay, so this is what I end up with. And I kept looking at it going, hmm, okay, what can I do with it? But... It looked like an envelope to me. So I just took it and put it on the alignment part of it. And I actually cut off that. I cut off that side. And that's what you end up with. You see? Then I flipped it over and I did the same thing. I... Cut off that side, now, took it over here, and I cut off that side. Alright you guys, so this is what you have, but you want it to line up correctly. So, what I did was, you want it to line up totally, this is cool. So I used this, the alignment line, or bar, and I actually scored it across, okay? So, that's what I end up with. I scored it across. Then I took this one, did the same thing, and I lined it the notches up. This notch to that notch. And I just scored it. Scored it across. At the same time, you want to score those notches that you did. I scored it across. And then, I scored this one across. Okay. Now, because I use the 6x6 six six cards, if you fold this in, it works perfectly, right? But it has a little excess on there. So, what I did was I took my scissors. Let's use my knife because then I'll get perfectly straight lines, okay? I took my knife or scissors, whichever you're using, and I... Just angled it and cut. Uh, did it on each of the tabs. Angled it from corner to the end of it and I cut it. I angled it. <laughs> it took me a minute, you guys. I wasted a lot of Project Life. I mean, quite a few. Not a lot. Yeah. And I angled it. And just cut enough off so that when you... When you Put your flap together like this. Now you could use this as a envelope or you can use it as a tab, whichever you like. But there is, you can actually use it to stuff things in and you just take a small piece of paper, um, I mean a small piece of tape, you put tape on one side here. And there you go. And then you put the other piece of tape right there on the one of the flaps. There you are. 
And guess what you have? You have an envelope. <laughs> How cute is that, you guys? All made by this. And this is it right here. Yeah, so there you are. You have... <laughs> I kept looking at this thing when I started cutting. I was like, it makes an envelope. But you can also make this one. And I'll have to take it apart a little so you can see how I made this one. And what I did with this one was I used it the long way. I actually used the corner, the side punch. I'm thinking I did. I can't actually remember, but let's go from there. I punched it on that side. Did I? No, that's not how I made this. I'm actually going to, because I had to cut this down a lot. Okay, what I did, let's do it with the large punches on this end. This is six. We're not even going to use this. Okay, we're going to use the large punch. This is six, so I'm going to go large. No. I'm going to go small on this side, okay? I'm going to go small on this side, flip it over, and I'm going to come to small. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Six, small. Go small here, and then flip it on this side, and go small here. Okay, so this is what I end up with, right, you guys? Um, But I also have to, I'm going to take it here. And I'm going to cut, excuse me, this off. And you have to just watch how I do it. I'm going to take this. I'm going to cut this side off. Then I'm going to cut this side off. Okay, you guys? Okay, then I'm going to flip it and do the same thing. I'm going to cut this side off. Then I'm going to cut this side off. I hope I don't run out of... And I might just. I might have to come back and show you how to do this envelope. Then I'm going to line this up with the thing that says side punch. But here's the deal. First, I'm going to have to cut. I remember this. First, I'm going to have to cut at least an inch off of this. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to cut an inch off of this flap on either side, on both sides. Okay, trying to hurry before my machine, my camera dies on me. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to line it up with the side punch, the side tab. I'm going to line it up with that line, and I'm going to punch, turn it over, line it up. I'm going to have to line it up with that line because it may not line up correctly using the margins. Okay, and I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Then I'm going to come back here and I'm going to actually use this from notch to notch. I'm going to score all of my, let me hold it up here. I'm going to score all of my little from lot tabs. Score that. I'm going to take this, put it here. I'm going to score that. My machine might go off on me, you guys. And if it does, I'll just have to come back and redo this part. Score that. Yeah, this is just awesome that I thought about this and figured this out. Yeah, because I wanted to do envelopes, so it took me a minute. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is fold those two ends, fold that, two, <laughs> that end, and look what you have. You have another type of envelope. Okay, you guys, that is my projects with this machine so far. You guys are going to have to try this stuff out. I know you're going to love it. Give it a try. Let me know what you think. All right, you guys, I am going to go ahead and upload this video because I have some more stuff with the other machine to show you all. All right, bye. Take care. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.